Next up, ATS wall belt. Got one of these already in range green. Bump for a large, because what you will find, the way it sits around your waist, it's going to sit quite low. It's not going to sit around the actual, the actual waistline, you know, is up here. Um, that's where your trousers will sit. But these will sit much more around your hips, lower down. Um, so even the large only just meets in the middle. For me, I had a medium before and it only got to about there. Especially if you've got your riggers belt on your BDUs or your, your camo uniform, that will pad out your waist even more. So I'd recommend definitely whatever think, size you think you're going to go with, go a size up from that um, if you're looking at one of these. As you see, multicam to match everything else. What, what I do like is the fact they've got the all the molly webbing that goes all the way the entire length of the belt is all in multicam to blend in. Official cray stuff, as per usual. ATS, they're not the highest end brand in the world, but they, um, the, the thread they use, the stitching patterns, thousand in your Cordura, top quality um, plastic hardware, high quality Velcro, or hook and loop if you want to really be picky about it. Um, the great thing about this belt is that while you've got all the molly web around it for attaching all your whatever pouches you want, it also opens up underneath. What you do is you put obviously an actual, uh, this is your outside sort of belt pad, you, I suppose you could call it, and then you put a belt insert, like some sort of duty belt, riggers belt, webbing, whatever, Alice, PLC, whatever you want to use, that threads through all the way around, and that's what actually holds it closed. Um, and then you can, if you want to hang a holster or any sort of drop leg platform pouches, whatever, from the inside belt, you can open it up and hang the straps out of there. Comes with suspender hooks or um, well, attachment points, I suppose, for, uh, to help uh, spread the weight out um, of your shoulders as well as around the waist. Uh, got a nice bit of uh, the old sort of Air, tech, um, air mesh, whatever you want to call it, padding on the inside. I, I've been using a range of green version of this for quite a while now, um, and uh, it holds up well. It's a good quality kit, very comfortable. Don't get any sort of um, rubbing or um, awkwardness on your hip bones, and they're uh, not too expensive either. So, with the war belt. Got the ATS wall belt insert. As I mentioned, this is the part that actually holds the wall belt together. Nice, quick to release plastic buckle. Um, it's relatively stiff, as as a lot of people know out there that run a lot of gear on a belt, especially um, police guys. Uh, the you, you need a stiff belt if you're hanging a lot of gear off it. Um, but this. I wouldn't say, as you can see, it's fairly flexible, but um, you've got Velcro inside and out, so it's not too bad. The quality of construction is up there um, with various other brands. All the usual stuff, it's, you know, you'd be able to use this for real in Afghan or wherever, um, without uh, a worry, I, I would say. It's quite a simple bit of kit, really not too much to say about it. Um, I've gone with a medium, um, which shows you the difference. Again, as I highlighted before, with the actual wall belt itself, you need to go a size up from the, as you can see here, that clips around no problem. Um, but the wall belt, I'll put it in there. Go with that size up. Shoulder pads, HSGI, you see, um, come in. Uh, pair of two obviously, this will be going on the Woosach, sit on there just to make it, they spread the load out obviously because a narrow strap is a lot, will dig in a lot more and be a lot more painful than a wide strap, so you spread that load out, spread out the surface area, make, thing, make your gear a lot more comfortable on the shoulders. Uh, quite some attachment, velcro there, wrap it around the shoulder strap of your vest, sit up there, it's got a rubberized um, it's padding and grip. Um, it'll help it help your kit stay in place rather than slide down there or sliding back and forth uh, while you're running around. Plenty of plenty of padding on them, nice and thick and squidgy. 
to use a technical term, um, got Velcro patches there to help secure it to your shoulder straps. Uh, usual HSGI quality, again, proper Cray, Multicam, Cordura, 1000 Denier. Nice. Um, they're not cheap for what they are, admittedly, but uh, for that very simple upgrade to any vest or plate carrier, chest rig, whatever, very simple. Not exactly expensive, and if you're going to be wearing something for a long time, especially in heat, uh, you know, desert type environments, whatever, uh, a little upgrade like that can make all the difference. So worth doing. That's those. Next up we'll do the Blue Force gear belt suspenders. Now I've already got a pair of these, set of these in multicam which will be going on that wall belt but I've also got my green wall belt which um, has the multicam suspenders on them so I'll be swapping around. These are the range of green ones so we swap those around so I've got the multicam on the multicam green with the green. Makes sense. <laughs> Obviously. Um, now the fact I've bought another set of these, even though I have a pair, I think speaks uh, volumes, basically. You, it, I don't need to say too much more that these are very, very good bits of kit. They're not extreme, they're not um, massively expensive. Eagle do some, a product very similar that uh, costs a lot more. Um, I've uh, covered these in a video already, but we'll have another quick go through them. Why not? They're nice and simple, attached to your belt, you've got a loop there that little metal buckle there, thread your web, unthread it, thread it through the belt loop, thread it back through the buckle, secured on, plenty of um, room for adjustment, that buckle can be slid up and down, you can adjust the strap through there. The actual shoulder padding area, you've got your air mesh type stuff on there, which is uh, very obviously very popular and very comfortable to uh, wear over there for long periods. Webbing is really, really tough stuff. It, I mean, it's thin. That's what may be taking away like that. But that is, you know, and the, the threading, like as you can see in the area there, where they're taking all the weight, that's not going anywhere at all. That's really, really well built. Um, the four, four sort of attachment points they meet here with this bungee. Um, it's really thick bungee stuff. Very, very strong. Um, really got a stiff. You know, it's got a solid core in it. Um, again, it's not going to be, uh, despite the fact it looks um, quite weak, I suppose, <laughs> to, to look at it, but it really isn't. And just the, the way these sit, just up like so, it, they, they do work really well and they're very comfortable. Um, take a kind of load off your uh, belt gear very nicely. Last couple of bits, Malice Clips, Black Hawk Serpa. Um, issue with, uh, <coughs> what, 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 what model, this is for, yeah, uh, 1911s. Um, I've been using Serpas for all my pistols for a long time now. They're not the greatest um, pistol holster in the world, but I think they do a good job. I've never had one lose a magazine or my pistol on me. Nothing's ever fallen out using these. Um, so they're certainly uh, up to the task. Comes with, supplied with, you've got a belt loop there with adjustable uh, portions for tightening it to varying widths of belt. Or you've got your simpler belt paddle. Easier to attach because it just clips right on, um, but it doesn't have that adjustment feature. This you'll have to thread your belt through, but you can cinch it down to uh, prevent any wobbling or moving. Um, obviously, this one is in what colour? What exactly do they call it? They call it coyote tan, generic sort of coyote brown, uh, khaki sort of colour. Uh, I'll get, get my pistol out to demonstrate why not. For anyone who's unfamiliar with the Serpers, pistol slots in, easy as that. When it's on your belt, when it comes to uh, drawing the pistol, grip the pistol grip as you will do when it comes to firing. Finger, go, 
finger, index finger, trigger finger goes out into the position that it would be when you're not actually firing the weapon um, out there which means it's a nice natural draw out the holster so you're grabbing it in a way that you're actually going to be holding it when it's drawn then you apply a slight pressure with that trigger finger withdraws but when it's in there you know it's not it's not coming out um, the, uh, the trigger's protected there's no chance you're going to uh, ND no worries no worries about that um, carbon fiber reinforced polymer very very strong plastic all the sort of uh, metal screws and springs solidly uh, good qualities well, I'd imagine steel presumably I'm not 100% certain on that but it's uh, they'll stand up to heat abrasion damage there are tough bits of kit malice clips are because I want to mount this to my wall belt and obviously because this is a for a standard um, just normal welding belt that's not going to go onto the molly what you can do get your screwdriver take the screws out this mount comes off because malice clips are designed to go on molly welding what you can do is use these holes that already come in them screw the screws through the holes so it would be attached kind of like so obviously the mount wouldn't be there then you thread a mouse clip through the webbing and your serp is attached straight to the mold without having to buy the black orc um, proprietary molly mount which is it, it's very wide and it sort of prevents, prevents the belt from curving you end up with a big straight bit it kind of is very uncomfortable to wear uh, and these are an awful lot cheaper as well, so I, I go with these nowadays. Uh, yep, that's all. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Any questions about any of the kit? As usual, please do put them in the comments. I'll do my best uh, to answer any queries anyone might have. Um, lots more of these videos to come uh, <laughs> over there as time progresses. Um, hope you've been there. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching. See you next time.